Goldilocks and the Three Bears, A Tale of Mischief and Laughter In a cosy corner of a lush green forest, there stood a charming little cottage. This cottage, with its red roof and blue windows, was home to three bears, Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear. Each bear had their own everything, from chairs and beds to bowls for their porridge. One sunny morning, after Mama Bear prepared a delicious porridge breakfast, they found it too hot to eat. So, they decided to take a walk in the forest while it cooled. Not far from their home, a young girl named Goldilocks was exploring the forest. She was known for her bright golden locks and her insatiable curiosity. As she wandered, she stumbled upon the bear's cottage. The aroma of porridge wafted through the air, drawing her in. Goldilocks peeked through the window her eyes widening at the sight of the cosy interior. Unable to resist, she pushed the door open and stepped inside. In the kitchen, she found three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks tasted the porridge from the largest bowl. This is too hot, she exclaimed. Then she tasted the porridge from the middle-sized bowl. This is too cold, she complained. Finally, she tasted the smallest bowl. This is just right. She said happily and ate it all up. After her meal, Goldilocks felt tired. She found the living room where three chairs stood. She first sat in Papa Bear's big chair, but it was too hard. Then she tried Mama Bear's medium-sized chair, but it was too soft. Finally, she settled into Baby Bear's small chair. It was so comfortable that she leaned back, but with a loud crack it broke into pieces. Feeling a bit guilty and still quite tired, Goldilocks went upstairs. There she found three beds. She lay down in Papa Bear's huge bed, but it was too high. Next, she tried Mama Bear's medium bed, but it was too soft. Finally, she tried Baby Bear's small bed, and it was perfect. In no time, she fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the three bears returned home, ready for their breakfast. Papa Bear noticed his spoon in his porridge and growled, Someone has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear saw her spoon was moved and said, Someone has been eating my porridge too. Baby Bear looked at his bowl and cried, Someone ate all my porridge and didn't leave any for me. They moved to the living room, where Papa Bear noticed the cushion on his chair amiss. Someone has been sitting in my chair, he said in a deep voice. Mama Bear saw the imprint on her chair. Someone has been sitting in my chair too, she said. Baby Bear saw his broken chair and cried out. Someone has broken my chair. The curious bears went upstairs. Papa Bear saw the mess on his bed and bellowed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear noticed the crease on her bed and said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed too. Baby Bear, looking at his bed, squealed. Someone is still sleeping in my bed. Goldilocks woke up with a start to see three bears staring at her. She jumped out of bed, rushed down the stairs, and didn't stop running until she reached her home. Back at the cottage, the bears couldn't help but laugh at the strange turn of events. Papa Bear fixed Baby Bear's chair, and Mama Bear made more porridge. They left the door open just in case Goldilocks, or any other visitor, wanted to join them for a proper meal. Goldilocks learned an important lesson about respecting others' property, and never wandered into unknown houses again. The bears, on their part, fondly remembered the little girl with golden locks who brought an unexpected adventure into their lives. From that day on, the story of Goldilocks and the three bears was told and retold in the forest. It became a tale filled with laughter, teaching all who heard it about curiosity, respect, and the unexpected joys of life. The End